Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for checking out His White Lights Versus for your video game news and commentaries. As most of you know, the Battle Royale genre's popularity has exploded over the last year or so. Every company seems to be trying their hand at creating their own unique take on the formula established by H1Z1, PUBG, and Fortnite. While all these games have been good in their own right, gamers have not seen a true evolution of the genre ever since its inception. Leave it to High res Studios, makers of Smite and Paladins, to take this formula and add some intriguing features. Their new game is called Realm Royale. While this game was released on PC back in June of this year, Battle Royale fans have been asking whether it would make an appearance on console. Rory Newborough, executive producer of the game, stated this was the most asked question on social media. Well, the wait should be fairly short, as the game will be starting its first closed beta on PS4 and Xbox One sometime next week. So console players will finally be able to try out the game very soon. Of course, be sure to sign up to participate in the closed beta on Realm Royale's website website. I've linked it in the description below. All of the above information is interesting, but what sets Realm Royale apart from other offerings in the genre? Well, let's take a look at its features, structure, and reviews to find out. Of course, it goes without saying that Hi res is using the free-to-play model with this game, like its others, and the premise of the game is very similar to those games it's competing with. Drop 100 players into a large island and see who can survive long enough to be the last man standing within an ever-shrinking play area. We have all come to know what to expect on this front. What makes Realm Royale stand out is its approach to class-based gameplay and its fantasy atmosphere. At the beginning of every match, players are allowed to choose one of five classes. These classes incorporate similar powers and abilities as hi Res's other recent game, Paladins. The first class is the tank of the group and all-around beginner class, the Warrior. The Warrior comes with the ability to recover health and can jump much higher than all the other classes. He can also loot spells that can heal teammates, slow enemies, and grant shields. The next class is the Engineer and acts as more of a support class for the game. His main ability is to recover shields and he can jump vertically much higher than the other classes. Just like in other games with support classes, his lootable abilities involve building barricades, healing, and deploying turrets. The third class is the Assassin and is able to move faster and use abilities that create smoke screens and tag the locations of other enemies. The last two classes are the Mage and Hunter. The Mage has the advantage of being able to dish out the most damage of any of the classes. He can also fly for short periods of time and can shoot fireballs and encase himself in ice to reduce damage. Lastly, the Hunter is the Jack of All Trades class with abilities that seem to complement all the others. He can dodge roll, plan explosives, and utilize stealth to get the jump on enemies. Another interesting feature that Hi Res has brought over from Paladins is the role of mounts in the game. Each person has the ability to summon and ride a mount throughout the map, which cuts down on those long treks that I always seem to be taking in Fortnite. However, there are no regular vehicles to be found in the game. The loot system in the game also takes a few cues from other games, but branches out in its own way. Players have a chance of looting high-level gear from crates, of course, but they can also craft them at a central hub called the Forge. So if you do not find what you want, you can go there, spend the materials needed, and craft some legendary weapons or abilities. The downside to this, however, is that other players can see when you do this, alerting everyone that you are crafting or you just obtained something awesome for them to take. The crafting process takes about a minute, so choosing to do this turns the game into somewhat of a King of the Hill style minigame to protect your newly crafted item. This type of focus on collecting materials and forging weapons also eliminates the stealth leaning gameplay that occurs later in PUBG or Fortnite matches and instead encourages players to play offensively as the match comes to a close. Additionally, there is really no incentive to find cover and hide. Battles usually play out with players jumping, throwing fireballs, and generally rushing enemies to capitalize on their various abilities. Abilities. Lastly, if you do happen to lose a battle, you do not immediately die. Players turn into chickens, and if they survive for 30 seconds, they are revived to continue the match, giving players a second win. In my opinion, I believe this is a breath of fresh air for the genre, as I think PUBG is too generic, Fortnite is too cartoony for the type of game it wants to be, and H1Z1 is, well, almost five years old at this point. My opinion is also in spite of the somewhat lukewarm reviews the game has received. IGN gave the game a 7.8, which is commendable score, but commented, in-game strategies become less about who is a better shot and more about who got better loot. I do not see this as a major complaint, however, as each of the Battle Royale games slant toward this type of gameplay. However, IGN did positively remark that the game has a lot of layers that you just won't find in other Battle Royale games. Other 
Other outlets, including Games Radar, have also praised the game for similar reasons, stating Realm Royale is like Fortnite mixed with World of Warcraft, and it's better than it has any right to be. They also mentioned that the game reminded them of the PvP modes in WoW, with its class-based gameplay and fantasy aesthetic. They reacted positively to the map's variety of biomes, including jungles and snow-covered mountains. It seems that the game is determined to set itself apart. Hi-Rez Studios has an established and excellent pedigree of previous releases that really highlight their talent. I've been a fan of Smite and especially Paladins, so I'm certainly looking forward to seeing what this game has to offer with the upcoming closed beta and its inevitable full release sometime very soon. I definitely encourage all you console players to check it out. Alright guys, thanks again for tuning into His White Lights Versus. Let me know if you plan on joining in on the closed beta for Realm Royale next week, and remember to click on the link in the description to register for a beta key. If if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel Versus for more gaming news and commentary. Check back next week for Realm Royale beta live streams discussing how the game is shaping up. Until next time guys.